What's up, boys? I'm going to be farming some talents and some items on Maris today. I don't have any talents on her, so I need to go pretty easy right now. I'm going to be trying out some of the new cast stuff with plus 5 projectiles there. Got some nice damage and duration on that, but I lose some XP. Got some big master offers and life there. That allows me to upgrade anything to master. Has some nice dice on it. And then I don't think anything else is super important. I do have some base region on that to help me heal up a bit. And that's about it. So let's head in and start getting some talents and items here. I'm mainly looking to try the justice and death spells that were added recently. Allow me. Lightning does have cooldown reduction, which could be nice. Um, Lightning bolts might help out in the early game. I don't mind that. That'll help me get some early kills. Ooh, early master base thing there. That's pretty nice. So the base damage on this staff is super low, so I will need some stuff to carry Death me here. And there's Justice. I want that, but it's pretty weak. Uh, I guess I'll probably have to grab it. So I can start pushing levels into it. Super cool skill, want to try that out with some more caster related stuff later on as I get more talents. I think Justice has the spell AoE effect now. There is a spell in here, but I'm not sure if it would be good here. I can upgrade that so it's a little bit better as I'm moving around. And then Death has a spell that summons a bunch of serpents that instantly detonate curse and reapply it, which sounds pretty cool. And I think that also uses projectiles. The future. Time has, I think, plus duration to spells, which would be pretty useful. And I could grab that to farm some XP here with all of the projectiles on the staff. I think it still has those three projectiles on the attack. Oh yeah, I don't have the attack movement slow right now, so I can just leave auto attack on to farm some XP. Grab some... That is a decent amount of pickup, but I'm also getting some pretty weak blessings, so I might want to grab that to try and help with that. I can get that up to Adept. And that's actually a cast and doesn't scale with armor anymore, I believe. But the light rays do seem pretty cool, I just haven't ever really gotten them at a decent rarity yet. Lightning bolts. I do want cooldown reduction, but I'll probably just alterate into something better. Like this. Let's see, I have time, lightning, and justice. So I do want this, but I think I'm going to take that. That seems way too good for a, an AoE caster build. Time also has an AoE cast now with time field dealing damage in its area, so that will also work well here. Summon power... ooh, cast cooldown. Don't mind if I do. Time. Let's go ahead and banish warped attack. See if we can alterate into some better stuff. I could grab that, but kind of want some higher rarity stuff. Lightning bolts. I could banish the strikes here. Probably won't get much out of those. Light rays up to expert. Don't mind if I do. I do want to grab that at some point for the extra movement. Grab some Cerulean Ocean, whatever that does. Which way? I don't know that there's anything super useful here. I could get a little bit more XP farming with that. But that's much weaker now that Gem High is pretty hard to get at a Legendary. There's probably a lot of stuff for me to banish here. 
That is going to get really hard to see if I get some more area and duration. Um, I definitely want the cooldown reduction for this. I want movement speed as well. I will probably take that early on to farm some more shrines. might not help me that much. I do have Alteration Ritual. That would bring Light Rays up to red, but I can also take that. I don't think I get that much value from that, and it removes it from Alteration Ritual. I might grab that to lock it in at Master. Extra healing and thorns damage. Let's see, how many power do I have? I'm probably going to want Alteration Ritual there, so... Actually, let's not grab that. Let's just upgrade my main spell. It's gonna take a bit to get used to the limited slots for some of the utility effects that you would normally just stack before the patch. Grab some... I guess I'll get some pickups now. The more healing you can get, the better on this map. Heals, starts attacking you, smited. Um, kind of want to just absolutely max this. I'll grab some other stuff if it's at master. But I want gigantic sky beams of doom. Grab some area. Eh, that's pretty high. With the master area I have, I'll get some duration to go with it. Heavy armor. The tier 2 items have crazy stats compared to what tier 1 had, it seems. So you can get some pretty big upgrades if you get lucky. See if I can get anything better here. Eh, I still want to get the dash out of the way if possible. Haste is nice. Movement speed seems extremely important. I probably don't actually want to invest into that. In Lightning, I want cooldown reduction and the Lightning Orbs, so that was helpful for the early game. I don't think I want to put a lot of points into it, though. Kill all minions. Sure. Oh, that doesn't give XP for them, right. That might be bad. So I definitely want that, but probably not at Novice. Time field, there we go. Man, both of these are so good. But this really fits the build, damage over time, area and stuff. Some extra survivability.
then as I push my area levels up, I should be able to slow the entire screen with that. I do need a lot of levels in that, and it gets both cooldown and damage. Still waiting on that to be a little bit higher, hopefully. Grab some survivability. Grab some Master Haste, I think. Want to grab those at higher rarity. XP or cooldown. Cooldown sounds funnier. Grab some more survivability. Time has some sort of cast passive as well. I think either frequency or duration or something. Um, I might want to grab that. But I also might want to grab that. More armor. I guess... Probably the dash recharge. Move around a bit faster for now. I feel super slow right now. Oh, I need to be a bit closer to spawn that on top of him. But now he's just sitting in it and getting wrecked. Run away. Grab some more haste here. The earlier you get the movement speed, the better. Gotta finish him now that these are out before you take too much damage. Try and get the time field on him here. Grab some more haste. I guess grab a bit of heal. Actually, attack speed will give me a decent amount of XP with the projectiles and gem dropping. I think I got one of those. So I might want to grab some movement or duration here. Duration sounds funny with all of the beams and stuff.
I guess I'll get that locked in. Status, I don't think I really have anything there. Grab some armor. We're a level. Push my spell stuff as high as possible, maybe. Light rays, cast area. Probably need some more into that still. Man, Justice is so good for caster builds now. Grab some cooldown reduction. I think I can get a decent amount more XP pool area with some talents, but I'm definitely missing a lot right now. Movement, sure. Time field... Oh, cast lasts longer, that's something you want, but I don't think I'm gonna grab it at Novice. More area and cooldown and damage on top of that. Grab some survivability. I can't see them behind that stuff. Um, that gives me an entire extra ray on top of the other stuff. That's pretty big. I guess do that for a little bit of extra XP farming. Just pull them through the time field, get a lot of shards off of them. Let's get a little bit more area. Force would be pretty nice, but I think that's also Alteration Ritual. Let's banish that. Grab that. So since Time Field does damage now, I 
think you should be able to get pretty good benefit from having multiple out at once. Before it was useless since it was just the slow effect. But now it seems like it's a potentially pretty decent damage spell. Hits a wide area, lasts a pretty long time. Balance the More area, power, aura. Probably not. Ooh, red cooldown reduction. Although I don't have any levels into it yet. So from what I've heard, the potions are supposed to give you some sort of bonus for the skill tag that is the same color as them. Offers or master. My main spells are already masters, so that's pretty decent damage. So, like, I'm selecting blue, which is supposed to be some sort of caster bonus, but I don't know what exactly it does. I can't even see what she's doing with all those rays on top of her. Try and drop the time field on top of her. More cooldown reduction. Those rays are blinding, Jesus. Grab some more movements. Would have been a pretty good lightning bolt run if I was built for power stuff. Infinity. Those are still pretty weak. Don't mind some more time field. I do probably want that. I do have a lot of spell scaling stuff, so maybe it's okay at blue still. Life region for power. None of those seem very good. I could turn my attack off at the end to get some extra boss damage, so that's okay. Pretty big damage. I'm gonna turn my attack off since these guys are pretty annoying. Duration or movement. Let's grab a little bit of movement speed here. So keep my attack off for the annoying waves so they die a bit faster. More movements. Uh, 
I guess probably the dash recharge. Cast duration, I guess I'll grab that at blue. Higher would have been better, but the run's almost over now. Get it up to purple. Sure. Light rays. I can probably get another light ray at seven or eight on that. Let's try and go for that. This game really needs an option to turn down your own spell effect visibility now. More light ray. The final. To 38%. I never even ended up getting alteration. Oh well. I never ended up getting the Justice Dash either. I could have gotten white, but I wanted at least blue on that. Oh well. Turn off attack. Probably grab a bit more movement speed here. More luck, I suppose? Try and pull them into the time field so that they die quickly because those guys are super annoying. There we go, five light rays with two more levels. Might not be able to get another there. Not sure on that. I might be able to get ten in check. But getting cooldown and damage at the same time is still very good. More castration. <laughs> Jesus, that is getting so ridiculous. More area. Oh yeah, I can turn my attack off on this guy for some extra damage. I can't see anything he's doing. And he's gone. 
giant light rays of doom. So we've only got 18% cooldown reduction, but I think there was some global from lightning maybe. A lot of cast, area, bit of duration. Down to 2.9 second cooldown, and they last 5 seconds with 10 light rays. I think there's a lot of potential with builds like this. Definitely a cool spell, but you can't really see anything. So let's do one more and see if I can get the death spell now and try that out. Eight points. What does that unlock? Dash a lightning circle damages enemies around you. Lightning circle deals more. Huh, that's kind of cool. Cast has a chance to apply seared damage from attacks. That doesn't seem very good. Summon damage, summon slots. So it seems kind of heavy on the summons or maybe dash, but there's some cast stuff over there. But just stick with casting for now. Alterations are nice. Can get a lot of shard pool area there. That might be useful, but I can't get it yet. Damage in area probably won't help me very much. May as well grab that. That's pretty good, but I have the same thing. Life region. Attack projectiles count. Cast damage. What if you just stack like minus 100% enemy area? That's pretty good for a heavy... 50% XP, but you lose a lot of offers. Enemies weaker and attack slower. That actually seems pretty good. Minus 50% movement and attack and cast. Onyx Dragon. That is cool. Quite a bit of shard area, plus a decent amount of life. Curse of Corruption. I could probably use that here. So try and get the death spell now. Oh yeah, there's also that thing. Spanish that. And I guess I'll try that, see if it can carry me in the early game until I get the serpent summoning thing based on curses. Soft. I'm not sure that that would help that much. Justice does have area. I could grab that for now. More cast cooldown. Hmm. Probably not. Power or attack. 
I could try that. Probably not going to be very good, though. Maybe they'll help me through the early game here. I just don't really have any bonuses to power stuff here. I'm shocked. Lightning had cooldown reduction. Might be decent. But don't really want any of these. Chance it becomes smited. Probably just put some levels in that for now. I guess attack speed? I won't have time this time, I have death and justice. So I can get either time or lightning. That up to blue, go ahead and banish that. There's also a power aura type thing on Justice as well. So you could do a cool melee aura build with Justice and Death and someone heat. else. Don't think I care about Summer. Or that. Or that. Probably just time or lightning. Let's go ahead and grab that. Try and get higher rarity on the other stuff. Time, I can start finding some XP here. With Go ahead and banish that. Try and get some higher rarity stuff. Go ahead and banish that probably. Try and get some higher rarity stuff. That's what I'm trying to try out here. Cause damage, resolve, cursed, and reapply it. But I don't think I want to take that at novice. Probably just push that for now. That'll help me farm XP at least. I think maybe it, they don't drop XP. Don't think I care about any of those. That would give me a little bit of XP. Eh. I guess execution? Grab some adept offers. Smited, more healing. They're okay. Power duration damage area. If I get alteration ritual, this is probably the best. That would be kind of helpful with the aura right now, though. I 
I don't really have any spells still. Other than that, I'll banish that. Probably alterate for some higher rarity stuff. Banish that. Who do I have for power? Fear. If I grab that, I can't get alteration ritual. Let's see what else there is. Still novice. This is looking kind of rough. I do really want Malady, but this is the thing I want to test, and it's at Master right here. And I don't really have any spells yet, just the minion killer. So I think I am going to take this, even though it really hurts to pass that up. are not great. Probably just put levels here until I get some higher rarity stuff. I guess more armor? I need to grab a second power to fill those slots up, which means I need alteration ritual. I guess I'll take it to get it out of the way. That'll make my upgrade pull a bit better. All set. I guess I'll take that at blue. Could use more damage here. So purple, I can banish that. So the serpent should scale with area, right? Yeah. They don't have a duration. Just area cooldown, it looks like. More alteration. Wait a bit on that. Hi again. Red, it's not bad, but I definitely need some damage for bosses and stuff.
XP or experts. I guess it's pretty early. Upgrade the rarity on that. Grab some movements. Dash. Eh. Kind of hard to apply that to bosses and stuff. Serpents looks good. Cooldown and damage. I can't even attack when he puts that on me. <laughs> Well, boss killing is going to be mega awkward on this build, up, it seems like. Since I'm much lighter on the light rays, I could get Divine Shield to help me out a bit with survivability. I could probably melee him a bit when his charge is on cooldown, nope, it's already back up, apparently. Run away. Need to finish him quickly since he's got the huge AoEs out now. More light rays, probably. I definitely want that for both of the spells, but not at novice. Scale. Purple light ray, not bad. More movements. I guess Divine Shield? Was really hoping for a lot more death levels here to get the Serpents up.
cast lasts longer. I don't think that works on these serpents. No duration on there. Probably the healing here. Level up offer just doesn't really seem that useful since you're banishing a lot of stuff. You're pretty much always going to have level up offers available anyways. Master offer, sure. Strike duration. Probably just push the alteration ritual here. Damage, life regen, let's get a bit of life regen. More alteration. Area duration, that doesn't work on the serpents, but area should, I think. More cooldown. Decent cast area, I'll take that now. Cast cooldown. So I guess Alteration Ritual was basically nerfed by adding so many new things to it. You are a lot less likely to get Pandemonium from it now, upgrading everything. And builds are a lot more specialized now. You're going for one of like Strike or Casting or Attacking. Instead of stacking a lot of global bonuses. Oh, that must be the Earth spell. Landslide. Okay, that actually does seem pretty cool. I might want to try that sometime.
boss damage pretty bad this time. Purple, sure. It is so hard to see with the sky beams though. More serpents. I don't think I've gotten that here yet. So let's go ahead and grab that. I guess you could probably check this tab and see if you had it. Red alteration. And the amulet actually has a lot of duration for it as well, so that should be pretty high. 250. So a bit over four minutes on that. More serpents. I don't think either of those really does anything for me. My dash doesn't even deal damage. My attack basically doesn't deal damage. More serpents. Finally getting the levels on that. Attack damage. More serpents. Light rays. Sure. That gets me an extra one on top of the stat increases. So the serpents seem decent for AoE, the single target seems to be a bit low on them. Let's grab the divine shield here. Getting some more area from justice might help with that a little bit. The sky beams seem pretty good for both AoE and single target on the enemies who stand still sometimes, since they'll all stack up on top of them and blast them. So that's level 10 now, won't get any stronger. I don't really have a lot of curse synergy for it though. Having it instantly detonate it and reapply your curse can actually be pretty useful. More cast area to pump the serpents. You'd probably have to get like the ravens for more curse, curse application. Either that or the soul stealers. 
Soul Sealers would be pretty good if you could get Gym High Legendary. Out of these, those won't really help me that much. Probably banish that and grab that for lower cooldown. I never even got Mayhem, did I? Serpents does apply Curse. But Mayhem wasn't even an option. Let's see what else we got. Um, I guess. Well, nothing really matters here. A little bit of extra XP. Bro? Master offers for every common item equipped. Like, I don't think they should be able to throw those in such a pattern that you literally can't avoid them. Like, if they do a triangle formation around me, then it's going to hit me. If I dash anywhere around me, it's still going to hit me. Malady, I eventually got it. Um, that probably would remove that from the pool, but not super useful. The Degen. My uh, damage doesn't seem that bad here, but it's probably the Sky Beams all stacking on him. So we've got decent cast area, not that much else, some okay cooldown reduction. Got a lot more talent points now at least. Okay damage, but it was level 10 and I got the light rays pretty late. Alteration was pretty helpful there. I think I got at least one Pandemonium. Yeah, I had that at white and that. Doesn't tell you how much Sudden Death did, but that probably helped in the early game since that was one of my first casts. Shame I had to pass on that for so long. Would have been cool with the Black Serpents. But I needed the early master spell, especially for the skill that I really wanted to try. So another 8 points. Damage 1 to 40 doesn't seem like a lot. You can put 5 points in it. And 40% damage per dash blessing would scale it up a lot as well. Could help in the early game, but we're gonna stick with the cast-based stuff for now, I think. 
See how that goes. Projectiles aim towards enemies. Eh, I could try it. That's the only one I can get here. Yeah, those aren't really super useful for me. I could get one point down here somewhere. Point two percent. How much even is that? That would be one percent per row, so almost six percent damage. Doesn't seem like a lot. Cooldown reduction, I guess, almost 6% damage. Expert offers. Attack speed and projectile velocity. Cast damage increased by a percentage of attack damage. If you get a master attack blessing, that's like 50% damage per level. So that would be around 12.5% cast damage for every level into one of those. Lightning sparks that deal a percentage of your attack damage. Cast blessings deal more damage, but longer cooldowns. Chance to trigger a random cast. That's pretty cool. Attacks have a chance to shoot out aiming missiles. And that's a cast, although it functions like a strike, it seems like. Chance to twin cast, that's pretty cool. Minus 100% area. So if you were using any area spells, you would need to have other sources of increased area to cancel that out probably. Unless it's multiplicative, in which case they just wouldn't even have an area. That's the thing I was talking about with the shard pool area. So you can stack pool area and have basically the old time space, but you also get some cast damage off of it, which is pretty cool. You can get 4,000% or 4,000 flat area from just some gloves. And then you can get some percentage area on top of that. So gloves would be like over 6,000, which would give you like 36%, I think, damage from just a glove slot. Kind of cool. And I think chests can get a lot more than that. 50% recharge is pretty big as well. Which you could get with... That thing. Whenever you dash, trigger a random cast. That would be pretty cool. Extra attack damage for attack blessings. And that would also work with that thing, scaling your cast damage up. There's some cool stuff in the trees. I really like them. Act 2 feels a bit rough, but I'm interested to experiment, try out items and stuff. Talent trees. Status damage. Scotty is the status based class, so I might want to try that. So you can see 3900 and it has an extra stat on top of that. And it's not even master. Unique movement speed. Berserk. Gain attack speed when below a th certain threshold. A lot of strike based stuff. Eh. Breath of Frost. Dash or evasion has increased. Lightning Armageddon. Point 0.4 life regen is a decent amount, but I like having alterations and banishes. Big power damage. Big cast damage and some legend offers. A 
Well, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.